do we want to talk about crypto? Do we need to talk about cryptocurrency on my stream? I like, I, I honestly don't think I have the wherewithal to do the groundwork to explain why Fresh Cuts and they're teaming up with not only major influencers in the fighting game community, including Evo themselves, and big players like Alex Valle and LPN. I think LPN is like actually works for Fresh Cuts. There's too much. Let me sum up. Cryptocurrency, kind of the modern bane. Most cryptocurrency things are used to scam people. It is financial securities speculation dressed as digital funny money that is that is like built around community engagement. Fresh Cut, for the last couple years, has been working on involving themselves in the fighting game community. They want to be a fighting game community in esports. TikTok, essentially. A, an app and a platform that does short form videos, that does highlight reels, and they have a create to earn and watch to earn mechanic revolved around their own cryptocurrency called Fresh Cut Diamonds. All right? We all with us? Over the last two years, they have been working without talking about their cryptocurrency and Web3 stuff. The only mention that I had seen of Web3 or cryptocurrency was one thing that just said Web3 in their Twitter bio. And then if you go to their, like, their corporate webpage, one of the four, I believe, corporate entities that make up Fresh Cut in some various capacity, some of them have mentions of their plan for cryptocurrency and Web3 integration. Fine. They get involved in the fighting game community and they start supporting tournaments. They start supporting content creators. Not with cryptocurrency, with real support. Connections to various organizations. Streaming opportunities. Perhaps there was financial compensation, but in actual real world money, not funny money. Great. Last year, Andrea says, yes, they were actually involved in EVO last year under a different name before they rebranded to FreshCut.gg. So now this year, Prior to EVO, they announced all of their, like officially, publicly announced all of their plans for a cryptocurrency, a digital coin, and, and how that's going to work, right? Then they get picked up as the official sponsor for um, highlight clips for EVO 2022. Their ads are plastered all over the fucking place, but not a single mention from anything that I had seen at EVO of it actually involving Web3 cryptocurrency at all. There's a reason for that. They have spent the last two years making inroads with both major players in the fighting game community and a lot of smaller players who are very dedicated and have very niche but important followings, right? They have made these like at the top and the bottom, they have created the bun, right? And they use that to legitimize themselves. They do not talk about their plans for cryptocurrency, which everyone fucking looks at as a scam. Look at all the times a crypto or an NFT org has tried to get into the fighting game community in the last two years. They have been laughed out. Holy heck, it has been wild. So what happens now? You do the long play. You spend two years ingratiating yourself to various levels of the community and legitimizing yourself in that way. And then you announce your cryptocurrency stuff. And then when you do your first major public push using the single largest fighting game platform available to us, Evolution, they don't mention crypto at all. They're gonna get people involved in the fucking thing. And then you realize, oh, I just gotta buy some funny money to be able to get my membership perks. Oh, that's just 25 bucks. But it's 25 bucks that you have to transfer to a stable coin that you have to transfer to fresh cut diamonds that you then cannot get out of that fucking ecosystem. All the value is tied into you keeping it in that ecosystem until five years from now, they plan to release a whole shit ton of the coin and then everyone can kind of like cash out is the idea. Except, the people who own the large majority of that coin, the investors in Fresh Cut, they get to cash out at three and a half years. So they're going to spend two years not talking about crypto, building up their legitimacy. They're going to spend three and a half years building up the value of their coin off the backs of the community who didn't expect it to be cryptocurrency based. And then they're going to cash out a year and a half before anybody in the community is going to be able to realize the gains that they have been promised two years ago. That is a fucked up situation, folks. And even if you're not in there personally because you're like, I'm a crypto dude, I like this shit, I agree with it philosophically, even if you're not in there for that, even if you're in it for the best of intentions, because they are able to get you connections and support to let you do the things that you do and you love, I think you need to call into question your decision-making process when you use the people who are burning down the fucking world 
with farms of just like energy sucking and energy consuming GPUs to mine cryptocurrency. That is the infrastructure you're buying into. No matter what level you're playing at, that's what you're doing. Every time someone in the fucking community buys into this and has to get a MetaMask wallet and has to convert into it, they're contributing to that. I don't give a shit how many trees fresh cut or Ethereum plants because of this. It's not going to make up for the damage that's being done environmentally. And it's not going to make up for the damage that's being done monetarily and personally to the people who are getting screwed because of this system. And I just think it's a fucking shame that they're going to be able to use our goddamn community. We build on the backs of individuals who put their time and effort into this. And the second that it's like, man, I get, I get a fucking chance to either, you know, make something sustainable or make what I actually care to make. And you have to do it like this? I don't know, man. That's fucking, that's a deal with the devil. Yeah, I shall grant you your fighting game infinite exposure and funding in exchange for your souls. It's the Faustian crypto deal. That is the perfect way to put it. R recognize the, like, the tools that these organizations use to obfuscate and to hide the fact that they are involved in Web3 technology and in cryptocurrency in ways which will harm people. They hide it so very fucking well. It went from... Like they, people started using Web3 because crypto was a bad name. People started using NFTs because blockchain became a bad name, right? There's all these things. Every time there's a new bad association because people have lost millions of dollars, they try to change the branding and then reintroduce themselves. And it's always in the same way. They introduce themselves as community support. They are the people who are just helping you run a tournament. They're helping you do your stream. They're helping you. They're hooking you up with a with a great top player that'll come and guest on your fucking th on your show and get you a bunch of extra views. They have these connections because the people who are involved at the high level of this company are former esports and fighting game community and streaming people. This is the, what they've been involved in. So know that this is how they enter the community from the bottom up until three years later when they're already invested and you're already attached to them and they've already legitimized themselves they're gonna have people defending them for this shit which otherwise would be arbitrarily hilariously laughed out of the fucking room like you remember when they tried to do the board ape yacht club um nft fighting game and how it was like a bunch of unity assets and uh just like with fucking uh board apes slapped on them like that was universally fucking laughed at right because they didn't do their groundwork to ingratiate themselves with the community like fresh cut has it's it's not it's not just shitty it's insidious is what it is go check out folding ideas their cryptocurrency nft documentary go check out them's fighting words i believe it's king hippo it's their blog and they have done an excellent piece on evo in particular their experience with this year's evo but also how it relates to fresh cut and all the crypto stuff associated there very, very interesting detail in there. If you want more of a complete story, I gave a very, very Cliff Notes versions of everything, and obviously I have my biases. So uh, definitely go and read up about these things from other sources. It is, it is extremely problematic, and I am very sad to see it gain such traction in the fighting game community. And one of the reasons this is, if you go read the Them's Fighting Words article about this, you'll find out that Endeavor, one of the partners who currently owns Evolution, is a major investor in Fresh Cut and their Fresh Cut Diamond crypto coin. There's a reason they are official partners. They have a vested interest in it. And this was one of the concerns that people had about Sony being sold, oh sorry, about Evo being sold to Sony and other major partners. And it looks like it's come true a little, so let's look up it. Thank you, Flynn, there's the link. More crypto schemes from them's fighting, uh, them's fighting words. That monkey paw's curling, and it's 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 curling tight around people's necks, if you ask me. And I just genuinely hope that people don't get fucking bottomed out because of uh, because they bought into this scheme. That is my genuine hope. Well, I'm gonna step down from my soapbox. <laughs> I think we need a little pick me up. Let's start off niche fighter niche fighter Monday correctly. Thunder Monday!